In this video we're going to be having a look at the specimen paper from OCR, the mechanics and pure part of it. And we're going to, this is question two, which is on vectors in three dimensions. So it tells us the point A, B, and C have those position vectors. So a good thing to do exam technique wise is to write them out in column format. So A has position vector three minus four two. B has minus one. And notice there's no J component. That means the J component is zero. Six. And C has vector seven minus four minus two. So it says show that the magnitude of OM is equal to root 17, where M, as we're told here, is the midpoint of BC. Well, if it's the midpoint, it's the average of the two points, the mean of the two points, which means that M equals B plus C over 2 equals a half of, let's add B and C together, so minus 1 plus 7, 0 minus 4, and 6 minus 2 equals a half of 6 minus 4, 4 equals 3 minus 2, 2. And we want to show that the magnitude of that is root 17. So that means that the magnitude, i.e. the length of that vector, the length of OM, is equal to 3 squared plus 2 squared. Notice I don't write minus 2 squared. I know that squaring something makes it positive anyway. So no need to write the minus sign. Plus 2 squared equals root of 9 plus 4 plus 4 equals root of 17. So part B, it says the point D is such that BC equals AD. Show that the position vector of the point D is that. Okay, so let's find the vector BC. BC equals C take B equals. Okay, so C take B is 7 minus minus 1, minus 4, minus 0, and minus 2, minus 6. Which is equal to, well, 7 double and take 1 is 8, minus 4 in the middle, and minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8. So that's our BC. So moving up a bit, now we want AD. Well, let's let D be the vector D1, D2, D3. Three unknown components that we're going to find. And that means that AD is D take A, which is D1, take the first component of A, which is 3, D2, double take 4, and D3, take 2. And we know that that's going to be equal to BC, equal to 8 minus 4 minus 8. So we've got three equations now. The I component equation, the J component, and the K component. So that means that D1 minus 3 equals 8, which means that D1 equals 11. D2 plus 4 equals minus 4, which means that D2, rearranging that, is minus 8. And D3 minus 2 equals minus 8, which means that D3 is minus 8 plus 2, which is minus 6. Therefore, the point D is equal to, well, the I component, as we can see here, is 11, the J component minus 8, and the K component minus 6. Therefore, it's 11 lots of I minus 8 lots of J minus 6 lots of K. 
And it's important to give the answer in the format required, the format that they ask for, in order to gain all the marks. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please like this video by clicking the thumbs up at the bottom.